Hey guys, good morning, Brad Krantz. Welcome to my Friday video. I think we can say we're in a different world than we were two weeks ago. You know, I think it's also safe to say that none of us alive today have experienced anything like this, and certainly not during peacetime. You know, what are the economic ramifications of COVID-19 and what's going to be the consequences of the government response? We don't necessarily know, uh, but what I do know, I want to share saying, I think it was originally with Napoleon Hill, he said, out of every adversity comes a seed of equal or greater benefit. And I think that's certainly the case here today. That's what I want to talk about and focus on. I want to share an article that was out of uh, entrepreneur.com. Uh, COVID-19 will fuel the next wave of innovation. And I just want to share some thoughts on it. I think the article is pointing us in the right direction that there's going to be some major changes here, maybe uh, even some paradigm shifts. Uh, they're saying that the global pandemic will shape business for decades to come. I think that's um, essentially correct, and I'm hearing it from a lot of other people in the business communities. My partner Val Campbell certainly thinks that's the case. So I want to share about it, but let's focus on what are the benefits. We kind of know what the side effects are. You know, with the kind of the semi-quarantined school shutdown, public events. I uh, just heard the state of California's governor is asking 40 million people there to stay inside. That that's going to be difficult, and certainly interesting, but. What's the benefits of this? Well, let me just, I'm going to share some thoughts from the article here today, okay? You know, again, it's going to shape business for decades to come is kind of the prevalent thought. And, and again, I'm in agreement with that. A little bit of history on this. You know, they go back to the Black Death in the uh, Middle Ages, the 1300s. It said it broke long-term ingrained feudal system in Europe and it replaced it with a more modern employment contract. So we've seen bad things turn into good as far as change goes. You know, a little more recent, fast forward to the SARS epidemic of 2002 through 2004. They're saying that this catalyzed the meteoric growth of a then small e-commerce company called Alibaba and helped establish it at the forefront of retail in Asia. And look at where it's at today. Many Americans, I think, still don't know that much about it. I got to admit, I'm not that familiar with it either. But this growth was fueled by underlying anxiety around traveling and human contact similar to what we see today with COVID-19. So I think they're right on there. With COVID-19, they're saying we're already seeing early signs of a shift in how consumers and businesses behave. Obviously, they've had to adapt and adjust, and I think we're, it remains to be seen where that's going to go. Remote working is being encouraged by tech and non-tech companies alike. Airline profitability obviously is getting impacted by this. But for those of us that work at home, I work at home, I'm an entrepreneur, I think there's a great benefit for being able to do that. But I think this is going to turn into something a lot more as we go on. And of course, time will tell. So page two on this, he said, however, some of these shifts, and I think this is a key, will continue on creating a long-term digital disruption that will shape businesses for decades to come. We're kind of repeating ourselves, but they're making this point that this is going to its change going to change how we do business permanently so there's three dimensions of the impact according to the article pandemics have a direct impact on biological psychological and economic dimensions i think that makes sense for covid-19 obviously it's the elderly are the hardest hit and i think the the truth of the matter and what we're seeing that's kind of the hardest hit segment of population the psychological impact obviously can be observed in what's happening with the stock markets around the world we kind of see the stock market tank go up and down oil prices drop substantially you know investors are underconfident about the future as the information spread on the COVID-19 and its impact on global productivity is at best incomplete and at worst incorrect. So we don't know if the information we're really getting is correct and, and I tend to really agree with that. Second, longer term innovation, and this is key here, and changes in trends will come about as consumers and businesses try earnestly to normalize the impact on psychological and economic dimensions. Okay. And to start off, just a little, again, a little bit of history, recessions usually bring about an acceleration in business model changes. Isn't that interesting? Driving down costs to serve and prices. And again, I still, still think that's kind of what we're looking at here now. Innovation is going to take place, perhaps paradigm shift. You know, it says B2B platform suspects like Amazon, Alibaba are likely to step up and compete for the ownership of the more sophisticated supply chain ecosystems for the next decade. OK, but key here is kind of what I think the key point here is for those of us who are small business owners, entrepreneurs, but certainly in the, the digital realm and online is 
key players benefiting from the shift in gears would be smart governments. And I kind of think that's a little bit of an oxymoron, excuse me. Focused on companies such as Cisco, Microsoft, and Siemens, as well as digital city startups across the U.S. and, and Europe. And I want to add and digital businesses and or global businesses that are using social media. I think we're just starting to see where this is really, really going to take hold. You know, it's pretty straightforward, they say, to predict that COVID-19 is going to be an accelerant for remote working as well as online education. I think people are seeing and what I'm hearing, this is, it's working, okay? We, we on re, Remote working online education actually is really a pretty good thing. My oldest, my youngest daughter graduated from online high school here a few years ago. So it's, it's been around, but I think it's going to be more prevalent. What's harder to figure out is what will happen once a majority of the knowledgeable workforce needs to work together remotely indefinitely. So that kind of remains to be seen. But I think, again, for us entrepreneurs, there's much opportunity. You know, workers throughout the globe and businesses need to prepare for it, right? We, this is something happened. I think we need to take action right now. For companies looking to add human touch digitally to their workplaces, the choices are limited today. But again, if you have online business opportunities, uh, solid business models and platforms, I think there's going to be a substantial amount and room for growth and people are going to really, really see the value on this. So we're going to see for individuals working remotely, and I think this is the big benefit that the article states, things are looking much better. Okay, and again, I think there's just ample opportunity. There's out of every seat of adversity, there's a seat of equal or greater benefit. Here's the benefit. You know, things are looking better. To sum this all up, obviously COVID-19 is is a record, a record, irrevocably changed the way businesses will compete over the next decade. I think that's in, in cement. But I think businesses and firms that choose to capitalize on these underlying changes will succeed and the ones that don't will get disrupted. So we need to be ahead of this curve and realize change is taking place even as I speak today that we're in a new world. Things have dramatically changed. We don't know how long this is going to go on, but we need to be as business owners, be future thinking, understand where innovation is headed, understand if there's a paradigm shift, where that's headed, where, where it's going, but to be able to take advantage of and capitalize on those opportunities. So hope, hope you have an awesome Friday. Please feel free if you got benefit out of this message, feel free to hit the subscribe button. I'll post a link to this article as well. And you can, as always, connect with me on social media if you would like. Have an awesome Friday, guys. Stay safe and be healthy. Bye-bye.